I'm gonna teach you how to make lime coconut shrimp with zoodles. Oodles of zoodles! You're gonna start with your marinade for your shrimp. I'm gonna take my defrosted shrimp, about a quarter cup of coconut milk. You're gonna wanna really shake up your coconut milk, and then anything you have left over, you can save in the fridge for a smoothie. And then you're gonna take some McCormick pure lime extract, some McCormick seasoning of ginger, garlic powder, and crushed red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna mix up the shrimp. Oh God. Once you've added all your McCormick seasoning, you're just gonna mix it up a little bit and then put it in the fridge to let all of those flavors meld for about 15 to 30 minutes. Here's the fun part. You get to make zoodles. Now, if you don't have a spiralizer, you can of course use a box grater, you can use a vegetable peeler, or if you have a fancy one with little teeth, you can use that too. But whatever style you start with is what you need to finish with. So for me, I'm gonna use a spiralizer because that's what I already did my yellow squash and my carrots with. Okay, wash it, stick it in there, and then you just spin it. It's so much fun. It's so much zun. <laughs> All right. My oven has been preheated to 375 degrees, and it's only gonna cook for like 10 minutes. It's a super, super fast cooking meal. If for whatever reason this feels overwhelming to you, I promise it's not. You can definitely do this, and it's a really fun way to make zucchini. Okay, now that I have oodles of zoodles, I'm gonna take my olive oil, a little sea salt, and then some black pepper. I'm gonna toss it. Just a nice gentle toss, making sure everything's coated in olive oil. So that's mixed. All I need to do is put it on my sheet. So I'm gonna make a border of zoodle to frame my shrimp. It's gonna allow the shrimp to actually touch the pan and cook a little bit faster so it doesn't just get soggy from the moisture in the noodles. Okay, I'm gonna give these shrimp one more stir and then you're just gonna place them in the center of that pan. Okay, again, your oven should be heated to about 375, and these do cook very fast, so keep an eye on it. Okay, can we just talk about how cute this is right now? We've got like a picture frame of shrimp. I love it. So we're gonna pop this in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then the feast begins. Oh my God, okay. You can smell the caramelized coconut milk, the incredible zest from the ginger, and of course the aroma of garlic. This is the meal to make. This is so simple and so fun. It will not disappoint. Okay, you guys, I know your phone's in your hand. I want you to be inspired. Stay organized and get started on your next incredible recipe by downloading the Flavor Maker app. Scan bottles, put it in your digital spice rack. You can look at recipes and basically, the world of food is in this little app right here.